The next thing to do is, as I said, to clean up these tests. Funnily enough, um, I guess for the time being, I don't really have to clean up the implementation to do much refactoring here because there's really not much logic I implemented, but I have to find, in my point of view, some better way of testing this stuff because if I want to write two or three more of these kind of tests, it would really be nice to be able to express them a little more precisely, you know? So what am I gonna do? I am gonna inline this one here to there because I actually don't need a handle on the print streams itself since I'm not going to handle closing of an in-memory stream in this test and it's going to be garbage collected anyways. Um, I don't mind here. I need a handle on the output stream in order to get the value in the end. I could certainly introduce a helper method here in order to make this look a little nicer. But I'm not so sure that actually helps. What would help, in my point of view, is actually pull out some of the setup of um, these tests because they actually do the same thing. They all initialize a game of life instance. And though these take null values, so this test here takes two null values, this other one takes uh, one null value, they could theoretically take a respective mock or in memory stream object without a problem. Question is, does, it re does this really improve these tests? And since I'm not sure about it actually, I'm going to have, or I'm going to leave it, to leave them as they are and see throughout the next tests if I should change anything. Okay, so for now let's think about what's going to be the next test. One thing I don't like about this test I'm currently looking at is that it actually requires quite some logic to be implemented because in order to produce or to in order to derive this kind of output from this kind of state which I'm currently not doing because I'm hard, I am hard coded uh, this very output I'm expecting here um, in order to derive this output from that output I'm going to need at least two loops and to implement two loops in one go actually feels kind of too much. So the question is how can I actually achieve a test? How can I write a test? How can I reduce this test to something more, let's say, minimal um, in order to output or to, in order to avoid having to write two loops. And I think the answer is that I can actually reduce the dimensions of the cell state or of the universe. So if I go to this point and actually reduce this to a one times one matrix, then this should output the following. One line, one zero, one line, without all this. This now looks even uglier. Maybe I can do some nifty formatting here to make it look 
I'm not sure it looks nicer. This is shorter. Um, so now this test is no longer looking whether we print the whole um, the whole matrix, but rather whether we print the first cell, which means I should probably change the name to prints that cell. This test is now going to fail because I've hard coded the uh, uh, original output. So I'm going to change the implementation to say print line this thing. and print line these two other things, which should make the test pass again. Which actually it doesn't, because uh, I used a zero here and an O in the test. Now it's passing again, so I'm going to commit this real quick. The game can now render a dead cell. Okay, and now I'm going to do pretty much the same test with the only difference that I want to print a living cell. And since this means I'm going to repeat the very same logic, I'm going to abstract from this. Um, initial state. No, I'm not going to do this just yet. Three times abstract. Since, since I only have one test case, I'm going to have a second test case that looks like this. I'm going to leave it as is and only if I have a third test case that looks like this, I'm going to abstract. Prince living cell. Alive. Not? Do I have a concrete import here or? Yes, I do. So let's do it like this. So we have life and I want the life to be shown as an X. This test, of course, fails. Yes, it does, because we expect an X, but we have an O. Which means that now I actually need some logic saying if universe.getState 0, 0 equals that I'm going to print out this one else I'm going to print out the other one which is an X test running and going to commit the game can now output or render a living cell. Was this not checked? Wasn't it checked the last time too? I hope not. No, I hope it was checked. So anyways, 